Hello, welcome magic lovers. For this week's 1v1 Commander, I wanted to keep the Guilds of Ravnica train going. And I had an idea for a Tristani Discordant deck. Um, this is a go wide token deck and you can see the overrun right there and some other effects. And uh, there's even an Elspeth, which you can actually quarter calling for. Um, so you can tap all your creatures and then Elspeth and there's a uh, there's actually quite a few uh, uh, Guilds of Ravnica cards in this deck. You see, uh, I had to pick up quite a few of them. All of these cards are in there. Some of them, like Camaraderie, I'm not so sure about. Um, but others, like Amara, is an obvious auto-include. And uh, March of the Multitudes and Veteran Loxodon. Then, uh, you know, this one seems fine. And uh, a few others, Dawn of Hope, I'm not sure about, but it seems like it could be pretty good. Creates tokens, gains me life, draws me cards. Seems like a good combo. Um, another Reclamation Sage is probably not a bad thing. And then uh, Conclave Tribubal could be a one-mana removal spell. And uh, the Cavalier seems good as well. So I figured I'd try all those out. Might as well just jam them all in here and see how they do and... Uh, yeah, let's just let's just try out this deck. All right, I got a game. I am on the draw. I have one land. It's my best land, but it's not gonna get me where I need to go. Two lands. That's a pretty awful hand, actually. All right, let's uh mulligan again. All right. I guess. Playing against Scion of the Ur Dragon. Um, you know, I probably do want a flower. Don't have a way to get it back and use the six mana. Not quite overrun because it doesn't give trample, but uh, that ability. But that's fine. Land is land. Uh, do we? Um, well, we're starting with planes. And then this or this. Let's play rice. I can actually soul ring, then activate rice next turn. Forgot to put in a Kalani garden. This isn't a Kalani garden, but they revealed a swamp. All right, Bastion's pretty good. All right, so maybe I'll, uh, if I get all my lands that I need. I have Fairground Wardens to deal with the Scion. I decided to go with these creature type r removal spells because you can tap them for Convoke. Oh, Beastiary is fantastic. Um, I miss out on a turn of casting my thing, but I think it's hard to I always have trouble passing up a bestiary. Moving kind of slow, but that's kind of what the deck does. It's not a super fast aggro y deck. It's more like a big. Oop. Just did some card trading for the deck. I want a land, so I will keep a land. I guess Tristani is in. There we go. Oop, oop, no, 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 no. Let's do white, green, green. White, there we go. Let's make a Tristani. Even if they have a counter spell, I draw a card. 
I have problems with flyers. All right, get in there. But definitely capable of gumming up the ground. Forgot about that ability. Got a built-in homeward path. Now they do have a swamp in their hands, so they can cast Scion right now. They might want to hold it up so they can activate it right away. If they do that, I might die that turn. All right, search for tomorrow. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Actually, probably what will happen is they're going to do six damage to all my creatures because there's that one dude. So I might want to prepare for that in some way. I have a number of effects that protect me from rats. I haven't drawn any of them yet. Uh, we don't want this anymore. Hero of Blade Hold. So one, two, so two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus ten is nineteen. Put some darn close. And I gain like eight life. They're at five life. My guess is they're going to go for the six damage all my creatures. So that kept me from putting another creature on the battlefield. Uh, actually, can they give it haste as well? Deathbreaker in his battlefield. Destroy all other creatures. All right. Didn't see that one coming. I uh, don't really want a Pendlehaven. Thorn Lieutenant. Not great either. Maybe I did want a Pendlehaven. A little bit risky. They can just get a haste creature, get their creature right back. That destroys all, oh, no, it doesn't, it just makes a 5-6. Um, but then they get the, what, the, all right, I'm going for Hero Blade Hold. I don't know if it's right. There's a Wrath Protection. Turn light there. And now I'm tapped out as well. So I don't really care about the 5-6. All right, there it is. I don't think that 6-6 six, six thing has haste. So they need a haste dragon. All right, they got a Hellkite Overlord. I can't let them untap with uh, the Scion or the Ur Dragon. It's just way too good. All right, they can't attack with the Deathbreaker Regent because they would die. All right, I go back down to 30 life. All right, we'll take the land. That thing. All right, it's in the command zone. So I don't need to worry about them killing it. So this gets in four damage and cost me a hero of blade hold. Next turn, 
possibly. It's going to be hard for them to deal with what I've got on board. They could put another blocker in the way. Um, Teferi's protect. Oh, does this phasing doesn't trigger enters the battlefield abilities? I don't believe. So I actually had him dead last turn, didn't I? I'm gonna have to go rewatch that. I think I had him dead. Um, shoot. Uh, let's. Teferi's protection. I don't think they saw that coming. They have a board of one Rice the Redeemed, technically, right now. They can attack, but I don't lose life. Swift Foot Boots. All right, they can give it Hexproof, which saves it from the Palace Jailer, but I'm pretty sure they're still dead. I'm pretty sure I had him dead last turn. Uh, court of Calling. Yeah, I'll take a Court of Calling. It just in, is a reset button just in case. I don't know what. Should I Court of Calling? I mean, they're, they should be dead to rights here. Like especially with the battle cry and everything else. Oh, I accidentally clicked them in the right order. All right, there we go. All right, that was a match. So I'm on the draw again. I guess I'll keep this kind of clunky hand, but at least I can cast things and hopefully I draw land. And then my spells are pretty good. All right, Aura. That's not a land. But I've got Wrath Protection. Not Living Death Protection, but Wrath Protection. Uh, not a land. All right, at this point, I probably, like, absolutely need... I need two lands in a row, really. Or something really, really good. All right, Cultivate is very, very good for them. I don't think there's much that's really, really good at two mana that doesn't need more mana as well. All right, there's a land... One of two. I'm gonna have problems with this, uh, the Scion. I don't have any way to kill it. They probably won't cast it this turn out of fear and because they played a tapped land. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not a land, but it's a good spell. All right, I drew another land. Let's attack. What do I play? Garuk? They can just charge their commander into Garuk. I'm kind of okay with that. I don't want to play the Lean and War Leader into just a mass removal spell.
here they can't do both. Most likely. Maybe they can. All right, there's their commander. He's searching right away. If they don't search right away, that would actually be pretty bad for me because they probably got a hexproof creature in there somewhere. All right, they got the uh, overlord again. Clearly they have some graveyard strategies as well. All right, they're going at my face. That's exceptionally good for me. Oh, I can just swords it? Does that really help me any though? I don't think it does. All right, and then uh, let's just untap two lands and say go. It's wonderful that they didn't care about the Grook. It allows me to leave up this Rootborn defenses. So living death gets me a little bit, but most other things I'm pretty okay with. They just have a reanimation for this thing. I can swords it. It sucks that I lose, that they gain seven life. All right. Um... Do I care about... Yeah, I do kind of care about my life totem, don't I? Alright, Hierarch. I can gain four life, use it to protect my creatures. Threaten the overrun next turn. Is that good enough? That's probably good enough. Uh, options are uh, collective blessings I would have had to do beforehand. Overrun. Is another form of wrath protection. And gaining five life is not at all irrelevant. If I draw a land, I can just overrun anyways. So if they, which they played a tap land, which is wonderful, because I think that means they can't play and activate the Scion. They have something else they can do. All right. They're going after me. Did they miss the overrun? All right. All right, I got to do some math here then. Seven, eight, nine, ten, plus twelve. Easily 20. 
So they need to do attack rook there. All right, I got another match. I'm on the draw. Hand's a little awkward, but I think I can make it work. It's just slow. Playing against Trostani. Ha! Huh. That's hilarious. Uh, Tender Shoot Dryad is pretty good. I'm just going to play the Cryptolith right right now. Just get that on the table. I don't know how good it is. I just kind of. I was at 97 cards and I threw in uh, Cryptolith right in the. Uh, Earth, whatever, tap target, tap a creature, untap basic land. Like, those might be pretty good. We got a lot of tokens. Right now, I'm not doing anything. Blind obedience. That's pretty good. I love that card. It does so much. Like, you, it looks really dorky oh, that's all right so it's got convoke so we want to wait on the sprout swarm we're not we're not in the business of paying two mana just to create a little i guess it ramps us but yeah i was saying blind obedience does a lot more than you think it would like, and I'm not even including the extort. Just so many things are shut down by blind obedience. Haste creatures are the most obvious, but, the, you know, convoke. Convoke shut down. Uh, you know, uh, blockers and stuff like that. All right, well, uh, play this tapped. Tristani by itself, not very threatening. Uh, the life gain... A little bit threatening. All right, they have a white sun zenith for two. So definitely a token strategy. They're going to be able to start populating those tokens every turn soon. Next turn. Man, uh, the Blight Obedience actually shuts down my Convoke really hard. Alright, Guild Mage, pretty good. Um, but the plus one, plus one here makes it so I can block these things, take two damage, make two tokens. That's pretty good. Hopefully they don't have a way to get rid of Tristani. If they're Sundering Growthing my Cryptolith rights. I didn't think to include Sundering Growth. And I'm getting extorted. It's not very nice. I get a token token cat creep. It says token twice. Because it's a copy of a token. And growing rights. Alright, that's... That's very good. Because it flips immediately. And they got a veteran war leader. Tap an a untap ally gains choice of first strike, whatever. You can't really attack into this hornet's nest. Alright, untap land's pretty good. Uh tender shoot is very, very good. And this makes saplings as well. And if they had removal, they probably would have used it already. I'm a little bit worried about all that mana that they have. Man, my saplings are four fours because of Tristani as well as the plus two plus two. That's awesome. They have a fell the mighty. Uh, Destroy all creatures with power. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. I didn't think they had removal. That's such a strange. This is an awful spell. Like, 
I, I don't understand this spell. Because it's five mana sorcery. Requires a creature on your side. Doesn't usually kill one ones. And if they bounce the creature, it fizzles the spell, right? Because it's got a target. It's only got one target. That's that's an awful spell. Cast with buyback. All right. Made a sapling. Through another land. Uh, let's angel it up. Because we do have one flyer. Uh, we're definitely making servos here. This deck's kind of designed for that. Um, and then we might as well play the Tugazi Guildmage. Looking to really gum up the ground. That sucks. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to token creatures you control. That's pretty good. Um, I do have removal in my deck that would kill that. That's uh make another sapperling. And get in with a three two flyer. I can populate twice, but I'd rather just make the uh, centaur token, I think, because then it becomes a 5-5. Five five. It's quite good. Okay, they got a world spine worm. That thing is giant. Does it, have it does have trample. So, I don't know. It might be time to hour of reckoning here. And it makes... Three worms, though. Let's make that thing. I guess I can... Holy cow. Holy cow. Let's get in. Do we get in with the uh, angel? It's another token, isn't it? Did I miss my sapling last turn? I think I did. Yeah... Just say okay. Fragmentize. Destroy target creature with or enchantment with converted mana cost four less. So they're all right. You got it. Uh, maybe I should have. Wouldn't you want to hit this instead? Oh, artifact or enchantment. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it's. For some reason, I read Creature or Enchantment. We have a Righteous Confluence. Alright. Let's always yield to that. Are you guys, are you getting in with this World Spine Worm? I do not know what I'm going to do if they get in with this World Spine Worm. I could block with the Hornet's Nest. I could just do that and take... Some damage. That's actually better. That gives me 10 tokens, doesn't it? Um, and then... Do I just take 15? That's fine, I think. Fifteen one one tokens. They become three three tokens. 
Then I should get 10. I don't know how that works. If it's, I think it's 10. I think I get 10 tokens for this. Yep, 10 damage dealt. I think they're actually dead here. This is a lot of damage. I'm just gonna attack with all. Uh, they're probably gonna focus on these things and I don't really care. Cause I have this hour reckoning anyways. Is that a GG? Had to try something low. <laughs> okay, yeah. The world spine only did four damage. So attacking with the world spine alone uh, would have done only done four damage to the hornet's nest, and I would have blocked with the hornet's nest. <laughs> two five two five. Normally this is a one four, but now they're exactly the same size. I'm pretty sure this is way dead. I haven't done the math yet. Yep, minus 10. March of the Multitudes. Turns out it's really good. All right, I got another round. I'm on the draw playing against Zakama. We'll keep this marginal hand. They have a soul ring. So my hand looks a lot worse. All right, Cryptolith right actually helps quite a bit. I have a door of destinies, presumably on dinosaur. Yep, dinosaur. All right, uh, so I'll go ahead and play the right. And don't need the mana for anything, so we'll swing in. They have a runic armasaur, which hoses everything that rice can do right now. This Dora Destiny is going to be pretty bad for me. And a Boris Garrison. I think I'm already pretty dead. My hand has not panned out well. And so we'll go ahead and play the Beastmaster, but do nothing. At least mana abilities still count. And they have an Ajani. This is distribute three counters. Jeez. All right, they're looking at the top four of their library. They got a Knight of the Stampede. Dinosaurs cost two lefts. I don't think you want to attack me. I ping it at Johnny, and then I get a counter on the Cryptolith right, which is actually pretty important. Provoke. This is, okay, that's that one. So let's cast Tristani. And say go. Maybe I'll eventually be able to go wide against them because they're definitely going tall. All right, they played a Mana Vault and then their Knight of the Stampede. Stampede? Don't know how to pronounce it that way. And then a Commune with the Dinosaurs. Revealed a Canopy Vista and played it. Now they're tapping it for mana. White mana. They got something else too. Swords of Plowshare on Tristani. All right. And they're ticking up. Oh, that's a tick up on a Johnny. And we got a wa wa Awakening Sun's Avatar. Tons of card advantage they're getting here. All right. So I guess we go with this. And then I don't have enough to also cast the venerated Loxodon. I wish it did. All right, there's the comma. 
That thing is huge. And they're also hitting, they hit uh, Beastmaster's Ascension and they're also hitting my Cryptolith, right? So that's pretty brutal. Hey, right, Angel of Invention is pretty good, actually. So let's cast that with mana. At least the Cryptolith, right, kind of already did what it was trying to do. Uh, let's put counters on it because we need those counters on it. And then let's uh, convoke out that thing, that thing, that thing, I guess, this thing, and this thing. All right, there's good shot. And it's going to be like plus three, plus three. Jesus, that thing's huge. I can block it at least, but then I can't block this thing. But they it, they both have trample. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. They're going for the throat. Alright, they're just getting in with these two, so let's triple block Gashoth and take twelve commander damage, which we cannot do again. There's the Awakening Sun's Avatar. Destroy all non dinosaur creatures. Alright. I forgot about that thing. I didn't even read it. I got another game. Um, I'm on the draw playing against Tristani. I don't know if this is the same deck or the same player. My hand looks all right. Vanishing Light. Probably uh, some key removal. Lifecaster's Breeze Gary. Pretty hard to pass up. I got my own Tristani here. All right, Tribunal, pretty good as well. Got some key removal. All right, that probably does almost nothing. Garuk Wild Speaker, I probably need to kill that. There's a definite reason I play it in my deck. It's a very good card. Um, Elspeth. Sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll take an Elspeth. I mean, it's hard to say no to an Elspeth. We can Banishing Light and then Flower. And I don't really care about the token. Garuk is very good in a token deck. Not really too worried about the uh, the flourish part of that. Just want to make sure I'm hitting my land drops. It gives me a draw off my own Tristani. Hopefully they don't have a way to get that back right away. Alright. You got a 3-3. Three, three. The Tristani plus the Beast token is actually quite good. But eventually I can just start Elspeth tokening. Alright, Avacyn's Pilgrim. I think I want another land. If there's a land on top, I'll probably take it. Alright, it's a wasteland. I will put that on top. Tristani pretty pretty good here. Helps me gain some life. Stem off some bleeding. Alright, they have a sword for Tristani. Alright, I mean I drew a card though. Ant Queen. Alright. Looks like Elspeth's not quite safe. I don't know. Is she, is she safe? I had to take one damage. To Fairy's Protection. Yeah, I think I probably want that just as like a fog. 
four. Oh, I already played my land. Let's go, Elspeth. I guess we're just chump blocking with all these tokens, but well, we could we could block the Abyssin's Pilgrim and then take two from the uh, Tristani. That would be fine too. And then they're not populating if they're attacking. All right, they're getting in. What are they? What are they attacking with? Just those two. All right, it's just those two. So let's. Chump block. And nothing post combat. We get a scry here. Four is pretty good. Let's go Amiria. Can't turn out a land. Maybe I should. All right, and then uh, just say go. Kill this thing now. They can create an insect and then put the, the token on it. But I'd rather have Okay, they're not they're not doing that. Alright, so I think I'm on chump block duty to protect Elspeth and then to fairy's protection if I need to cuz this plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 and flying is very good. Okay. So I can block there. I can triple block one of those. I can block. I can block. I lose a lot of tokens, but I kill two of their tokens. I can always get more tokens, and I do have Teferi, Teferi's Protection. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, they killed my Elspeth. I was a little worried about Trample Pump Spell. Oh, I really wanted that Elspeth. Maybe I should have kept up to Fairy's protection. Uh, yeah, I will take a Palace Jailer. Can I use it though? Let's play a land. I think I can. I don't know. These three threes are a problem. They get Tristani right back, but they're probably going to put it in the command zone. I give them the... the I'm going to do it. It's very risky. I do have bird tokens. They might actually put it underneath there. All right, nope, command zone. All right. 
Uh, March of the Multitudes is pretty good. <laughs> Probably helps me protect the um, monarchy. Growing Wakes. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now I want I want to marry an angel here. It's just two out of a card to just throw away, even if it draws them a card. I can take the monarchy back. I have two ways to protect it. All right, um, that's pretty good. It's all my white mana though. Is that good enough? It's pretty darn good. We can march the multitudes if we have to. I'd rather not, not for less than 100%. What's that, three tokens? Yeah, I'd rather not use March of the Multitude for just three tokens. All right, they're getting in. Oh, changed their mind. All right, so they don't have a pump spell. All right, I'd really like a land here. Land, that's great. Um, that's Growing Rights. Growing Rights is better than free. All right, I got a... Look at a card. Let's take Mentor of the Meek. Um, I think it kind of shows my hand a little bit. But uh, I'm not going to do anything here. Got three 2-2 two, two Elves. really not that good that's quite good how do I not have Gavany Township in my deck I totally forgot to put this in my deck it really needs to be there they are destroying all non-token creatures so let's make a bunch of token creatures it makes our blocks a little bit worse. Only 12. It's a little bit disappointing. Double block a bit. Yeah, I think this is still fine. I am pretty worried about this growing rights, growing ranks. It's getting pretty good here. But killing off these elf knights before they get a Gavany township going. Is where I want to be. Let's scry. Selesnia Charm. Exile target creature. Let's put that on the bottom. I don't really need that. Beastmaster Ascension, though. Oh, why didn't I play Tristani first? Ugh. Always yes, always yield. All 
Oh, yeah, they had one. I forgot about that too. Uh, it's still worth it for the, the token on the Beastmaster's Ascension. So let's... But I definitely should have cast that first. Let's draw a card. And I probably should have cast Mentor of the Meek first. Nah. I think it's the turn of Teferi's Protection. All right, they're going Regal Force. So that's a lot of cards. I think I've drawn a bit more though. And the Scry is awesome. All right, no attacks. Probably wise. Come on, pump effect. Overrun. Overrun would be just ludicrous. Uh, collective blessing. Also very ludicrous. Uh, I guess we use the extra mana to play a tireless tracker. And yes, we're going to draw a card. Attack with all. We have some really bad blocks. Uh, this is 30 and no 20 in the sky. Is so they can live if they block, they can let one through. That gains so much life. 10 10 life linkers, these aren't trample, right? Yeah, it's just plus five plus five, plus five, five plus five, and trample would be nuts. All right. I'm at 67 life. Let's play the Misty. Let's get another land. Forest. Another token. And we'll just play the Mentor of the Meek. And yeah, we'll draw a card. Heroic Intervention, that's pretty good. My Mentor of the Meek is, actually my Mentor of the Meek is never gonna draw me a card because everything I have is plus eight, plus eight. Oh, plus nine, plus nine, Tristani. And they have a Mirari's Wake. I didn't actually put this in my deck. I wanted something cheaper. I also didn't put the Growing Ranks in my deck because I wanted something a little less conditional. Earthcraft. All right, they got Tristani. Uh, they tapped a ton of mana, so I was worried about a wrath. I wasn't really worried about a wrath, but I thought that's what they're going to do. But clearly, if they're playing Tristani, uh, there's no wrath. So they're just trying to gain some life and probably make some tokens. They probably got a token maker. Secure the waste. All right. Got a devout invocation. So they make some angels. Three of them. They're at 41 life. I don't know if that's enough. They you know, untap three more lands. They got seven mana. A Crested Sun Mare. So a 6-6. Six, six, and they get another 6-6 six, six Indestructible. Their end step. Uh, it's probably too risky to crack a clue. They could have an instant. 
Let's scry one. Elspeth. Is that good enough? It's good. Is it good enough? Let's see what else we can get. Rice the Redeemed. Not, not that much. Uh, is that a GG? That's a GG. All right. <laughs> they did the math, apparently. Because uh, they can only block three. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they... I don't know if they were able to win or stay alive with the Warriors. Because they could have blocked seven things. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they could have stayed alive at two life. They would have lost all these warriors if they had stopped there. Um, but they kept going. They wanted to gain more life. And they ended up without enough creatures to block against the amount of life they were having. I think they wanted to be able to swing back. But then I do have the Teferi's Protection, which acts as a wrath. Go ahead and add in that Gavany Township that I missed. And I'll just take out a Plains. I got another match. I am on the play. Um, playing against Aurelia. I don't know if this hand is fast enough, but man, I can't pass up a life crest or be serious. I have a weakness. Its name is Life Crafters Bestiary. It's probably going to slow me down too, because then I'm going to pay a bunch of mana to draw cards and I got another match I am on the play um playing against Aurelia I don't know if this hand is fast enough but man I can't pass up a life crest or BC I have a weakness its name is life crafters bestiary it's probably going to slow me down, too, because then I'm going to pay a bunch of mana to draw cards. and um, Beastmaster's Ascension, not where I'm looking to be right now. Is it wrong that I just want to tire this tracker, play the land, and draw a card? Oh, I can't do both. Can I? No, I cannot. I could play the war leader and it trades with the three, 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 four double strike. Alright, I'm playing the war leader. I don't know if I'll block or not. Um, see if they give me that option. Actually, that dies to a burn spell, doesn't it? Oh, protection from white, anyways. Uh, they don't block. Uh, Slesny, uh, Advangel. I think I wouldn't mind that. All right. Still standing. 28 life, not bad. Aurelia makes this less good. Intrepid hero, okay. I'm not sure why they're not attacking. It actually is probably winning me the game. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take that a million percent of the time. All right, I can't Elspeth here. Let's play a land. Let's play that and say go. 
six mana really the war leader all right that's very good oops no oh, it's just a tap effect man that thing's good all right can stem a lot of life loss here though Elspeth doesn't kill Aurelia. Super unfortunate. Let's cry. Oh, they untapped it. Okay. Um, I guess I can do that. I don't know if it's right. Using up my mana like that. Uh, venerated Loxodon. Let's take that. Man, this intrepid hero is quite intrepid. Things are just gonna kill something every turn. Yeah, I'm still gonna do this. Weakness for drawing cards. I need a way to gain some life though. Or destroy all non-token creatures. That would be pretty good. All right. Uh, I should have cracked this first. That was a mistake. Oh, they can destroy two creatures per turn? Jeez. That's so brutal. Coat of arms? Well, that helps me, doesn't it? I guess it doesn't because of the intrepid hero. This is a lot of damage. This is so much damage. Oh, I'm just dead, right? <laughs> All right. Really is good, especially if you don't have removal. All right, pack it in. Get in the game. I'm on the draw. His hand looks pretty keepable. It's not fantastic. Uh, playing against Joyra. All right, I'm less enthused about this hand now. No interaction with Joyra. It is no fun. Strong chance I could just lose here. They even have ramp. Come on, exile creature. All right. Um, I don't have a green creature that I can play here, so I would need a green land in order to court a calling, and that still wouldn't do it because I need to court a calling for three. All right. Missing a land drop? All right. That's good for me. It means they're going to do quite a bit on their turn now. All right. Um, now we got to decide between Cryptolith Rite, which still doesn't necessarily get me. I would need another land, and that would get me to Court of Calling. Yeah, I mean, it's the same either. I need a green land specifically. I've never been one to pass up a life caster's bestiary, even when it's wrong. All right, they are playing Jace, the Living Guild Pact. Look at the top two cards, put one of them in your graveyard. 
Return another, okay, they're going for that one. Return another non-land permanent to its owner's hand. So they could have returned my bestiary. And each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library. You draw seven cards. The scry, uh, yeah, I will take a green land. I can court a calling as an instant. But I kind of want to attack this Jace. I'm going to attack the Jace. And play Growing Rights. Let's play the Growing Rights. No creature cards. I think that's the second time I whiffed. And there's Joyra. And they got four cards in hand. Lightning Greaves. Ooh, that sucks. All right. So now I can't kill her. Uh, I will take a land. I really do need a creature, though. Let's attack Jace. I can quarter calling for a reclamation sage, but that doesn't do that much right now. Let's go ahead and wait. Okay, they got a tablet of the guilds. Uh, chances are I'm just going to skip ahead through their turn. All right, so they ticked up Jace, Manalith, tablet of guilds, treasure map. Uh, let's go ahead and create a token. And say go. Maybe I'll just hit. All right, that's pretty good actually. Uh, so one, two, three. X is three, done. Just slows them down a little bit. Uh, let's get. Reclamation Sage. Oh, I could have gotten the... I guess they're the same. The new one. Uh, yeah. And let's Swords that. Alright, they're scrying with Treasure Map. And then we'll swing in at the Jace. Right, they got a jo uh, Chandra this time. What does this thing do? Whenever you cast a spell, if it's one of those colors, they gain a life. For each color it is. Oh, oh. I was busy reading. Jeez, okay. All planeswalkers all the time, huh? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Um... That's three green. Let's flourish. I don't know if that's quite optimal, but let's send one at Karn, send one at Chandra, send one at Jace. All right, they're protecting Chandra. They're protecting Karn. Do I want to protect my creature? No, it's just an elf warrior. That's fine. All right. All right, they got an all uh, all hamrets. All hamrets archive. So when they draw a card, they draw two cards. When they gain life, they gain double life. All right, and they draw two cards with the treasure, I think, is what they did. Jeez, okay. This is a, this is at least a more interesting Joyra deck than I've seen in the past. Um, a lot of times they just, oh man, that just stonewalls everything I have. Two eight eights. This Karn is outstandingly good. All right, 
They just hard cast an omniscience. I think I'm dead. I think I'm very, very dead. They have six, 17 cards in hand. They can pretty much go through their whole library. I'm not going to force them to do it. I'm dead. Got another game. I am on the play. Um, Bitukazi Guild Mage, Voice of Resurgence, playing against Niv Mizzet Perun. All right. At least we're fast and low to the ground. Maybe we can beat him. Probably lead off with the Voice of Resurgence versus the Guild Mage. The Guild Mage doesn't do much anyways yet. The voice protects me from... Well, let's start with the Plains. There's also a good chance that the Wasteland is going to get a, a, an important land. It can be pretty hard to cast niv -Mizzet. And if you hit their target, their non-basics, those are a key part of casting it. Hopefully I don't have four spike, no four spike. Okay. He just played Island Go. I draw Brimaz. Brimaz does a lot of damage really quickly. So we'll play that. Probably should have done it post-combat. All right, Arcane Denial is fine by me. Rimaz is really good. It's a shame to lose it, but getting two cards and an elemental is not at all nothing. All two. All right, Angel Invention and a land. They are casting Compulsive Research. All right, and they played a Chrome Mox discarding Capsize. So that's interesting. Oh, let's play a tire. Well, let's attack first. Oh, no, I should have... There's times when it's right to attack first, and there's times when your creatures bump your other creatures, and it's correct to play them first. So Tyler's Tracker is really good. They are treasure cruising. They are also one mana away from niv -Mizzet. Unfortunately, I can't really ping our things, so... Growing Rights is good, but I think I really need to get this damage in here. So let's go with Trostani. Also helps us protect from controlling things. This is a 7-7 seven, seven now. This is bigger than niv -Mizzet. They played a tapped land. So that's pretty good. All right, and they're taking another turn. Temporal Manipulation. All right, so I guess it's not that great. Um, so they got niv -Mizzet most likely. With two cards drawn, they can hit a soldier. Wheel of Fortune. All right. Now I have an overrun in my hand. There's not really any red spells that remove a 7-7. Seven, seven. They pack it in. We managed to get in under the Niv Mizzet. So I actually played quite a few games with this deck. I, I had about two and a half hours worth of video probably, and I went to go edit it, and there were quite a few games that just didn't end up being that interesting. I had three different games against Atraxa, where the Atraxa opponent didn't really do anything the whole game, and I just rolled over them. And that seems to be a pattern with Atraxa. Those decks really need to lower their curve if they want to be competitive. And then I had another game versus a deck. It was actually kind of a slow grindy game, um, but they were playing a really ultra budget deck and they had some really questionable card choices. And I just didn't think that deck, that uh, game was very interesting. Um, and so I decided to cut that. And when I, I went through all my cuts and you know trimming down all the videos, I didn't have quite two videos worth, so I decided I'd actually cut a few more of the least, less interesting uh, games and just keep the really, really interesting ones and just make it one slightly longer video. I hope you don't mind. Um, we are missing out on some of the games where my deck was really firing on all cylinders. Um, kind of like what happened with niv -Mizzet. That one was a little bit unique and then my opponent was actually interacting with me. It ended up working out kind of negatively for them, but you can see how fast the deck 
can be. And so that was a good example. And it was against Niv Mizzet, which is a very threatening commander. So I thought it would be an interesting game to keep in. But I, I cut most of the rest of the ones that were like that. Um, and a lot of the times it's just because my opponent never interacted me, with me. And, uh, you know, sometimes with aggro decks, that's fine. This isn't really an aggro deck. Um, it can be very, very fast. And that was probably, it was pretty cool. It's pretty nice when that works. Um, but I thought some of the grindier matchups were a lot cooler. Um, so I kept in all my losses with the exception of one where I was mana screwed. Um, and you can see in those games, my opponent was able to get out very quickly and I was kind of reacting to what they were doing and wasn't able to build a board position for myself. And that kind of backfired. I think part of that is the lack of removal that's available to this deck. A lot of it, like I could add more removal, but a lot of it's like three or four mana. Um, you know, there's only one swords. I could put oust or path to exile. I don't like playing path to exile in uh, in one v one commander. The the land really matters. Um, but the rest of them, the three and four mana ones, if you're spending three or four mana to deal with your opponent's threat and they're getting out very early you can fall upon it behind really quickly and this deck needs to be doing proactive things it works best when it's being very very proactive and so uh you know part of it's just the colors just green and white doesn't have a lot of really cheap removal that helps keep it keep the tempo going it positively in your direction um but other than that i think the deck was really really cool it does some really cool things it was a lot of fun to play it's really fun getting a collective blessing out or getting all the tokens on a Beastmaster's Ascension and just making some really ridiculous board states. March of the Multitudes was really cool a bunch of times. I've always had a lot of love for Elspeth. There's a lot of cool things in this deck, and I thought Tristani is actually a really cool commander. We played her a lot, and the boost that she gives to all your creatures is very real. And then having a bunch of other Anthem effects that... A lot of them come on sticks or are really, really good or overrun effects or Garrick. Um, I think I think it all worked together pretty well. Um, so, you know, there were quite a few wins that weren't featured in this video. And then you see all my losses. You can see how the deck loses. I think those games are very interesting. Um, I did try to cut them down a little bit, especially the Joyra one. Um, I'm going to try and do that in the future. I do try to stay in games where I am losing to try and eke out that 5% that I might win. Um, but a lot of times just watching five minutes of me losing more and more and more as the percentage just slips away um, isn't particularly interesting. So I like to... So in order to keep the pace of the video moving forward a little better... I've decided in some games to just clip ahead um, from when my opponent has an insurmountable advantage to when they actually win the game. And I, I hope you guys don't mind, especially in Joyra. That deck just solitaires for like five minutes at a time um, sometimes. And it's just not that interesting to watch all that, even though the deck is really cool. It's just, yeah, you're just watching the opponent play. Um, so I had a lot of fun with this deck. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.